Welcome to the second episode of the Thinking Out Loud podcast. In this episode, I'm going to talk about why thinking rationally is so important and how thinking rationally has changed my life. Before I knew what thinking rationally actually is, I had some kind of irrational fears. For example, it's a common belief in the place I live that touching the book with the leg is a bad thing and you would do bad on your exams if you touch a book with your leg because uh, the book represents the god of studies and if you touch it with your leg, she's going to be angry and you will not be able to do well on your exam. And this was something that was very disturbing for me. So whenever I touched a book with my leg, I had the feeling that I might not do well in the next exam. I, I had this kind of fear. Once I started thinking rationally, the fear was gone. Even if I touched the book with my leg, I had no fear because I understood that there was no logical connection between the both things, me touching the book with my leg and me doing well on the exam the following day. And this is just one of many examples where I found thinking rationally extremely relieving and uh, keeping me away from those irrational fears. To give you another point of reference, a few years ago, I applied for an internship and I did not get in. And this was the second time I did not get in. I did not get in even the previous year. So the way I started looking at this was that I was somehow inherently unlucky. And that was the reason why I was not getting into the program. I, I thought that my profile was good enough, but it's because of that unluckiness that I did not get into the program. Once I started to get into this rationality loop, I was able to realize that there is no logical connection between me not getting into the program and me being unlucky. I think through rationality, no one is inherently unlucky. The only reason why they would reject me is because my profile is not strong enough or my statement of purpose is not strong enough. So recognizing the problem was the first part of improving myself. So now that I recognize that the problem was my profile, I worked stronger to improve my profile and that was really helpful. Thinking rationally has also helped me look over my emotion. Previously, when someone used to argue against me on Facebook, I used to get really aggressive about that. I really wanted to convince everyone who's reading the comments that he was wrong and I was right. So if he says something, I would, I would sit for half an hour, write a reply and post it on Facebook. And this kind of conversation was not really helpful. Sometimes we used to talk over each other and we don't get to a conclusion. But now that I started thinking more rationally, I choose my battles more carefully. I'm not going to argue with people who I know are not open-minded. I know that it's just a waste of my time. Thinking rationally has also helped me look through blanket statements and think more clearly. For example, statements like, you should always follow your dreams. You should never lie. You should never hurt anyone. I think these are blanket statements and you should actually be a monster to follow these literally in every possible scenario. For example, let's take the classic case of where you have a terrorist who knows where the bomb is and who's not revealing the information to you. And the only way you can extract information from him is by torturing him and hurting him. In such a scenario, I think you should be a monster to not hurt him or not torture him in order to extract the information and save many more lives. And this is one problem that I generally have with religion. It tends to make blanket statements, but it doesn't encourage you to think through all scenarios and ask you to do what seems more reasonable. Thinking rationally has also helped me in a number of other ways. For example, if I have to go out on my bike, I recognize that there is a small probability that I could die on a bike accident when I go out, however careful I am on the bike. And to reduce that probability, I have to use a helmet and I have to drive more carefully. I do realize that if I drive faster, it's more likely that I will die. And all of these are running at the back of my head while I take decisions and I find it extremely helpful. While some people may argue that being too rational is bad, I don't think that's true. I think one can never be too rational. When someone says that so-and-so is too rational, what you're trying to convey is that he is trying to apply 
an analytical method in life where he shouldn't be using and that is by definition irrational. So I never think anyone can be too rational. I want to live in a world where there are more rational people and I hope this podcast could have a small contribution in that direction. Now, if you're listening to this podcast and you have been irrational and have irrational fears like me, I think you should consider thinking rationally and I I can tell you with confidence that it's going to be really relieving. You have to give it a try. And on this note, let's end podcast number two.